Okay. One interpretation of the derivative occurs in physics. Um, let's let s of t, v of t, and a of t be the position, velocity, and acceleration um, of an object, respectively, over time. So, s of t is the position, v of t, velocity, and a of t is the acceleration. The velocity function is the derivative of the position function. So we see that here. Velocity function equals the derivative of the position function. Acceleration equals the derivative of the velocity, which makes it the second derivative of the position function. Here's an example. Let's consider um, the function s of t equals a negative 16t squared plus 4t. And let's say s um, gives the distance an object has fallen after Well, if we wanted to calculate the velocity, we would just simply take the derivative. The velocity of the object is equal to the derivative of the position function of the object, and so the velocity would be t negative, uh, 2 times negative 16 gives us a negative 32t, and then we have a linear piece there, so that'll be plus 4. The acceleration, if we, if we want the acceleration of the object, well then we take the derivative of the velocity, which is the same thing as taking the second derivative of the position function, and we get the constant function negative 32. So it has constant uh, acceleration of negative 32. The negative here is just indicating that the object is falling.